When you look at an atomic scale, pressure is really quite easy to understand. It's due to air molecules bouncing off things. We usually don't sense these collisions because there are so many of them. But for a small enough object, viewed very closely, we can indeed see the random collisions that give rise to the pressure we feel. Let's take a look. We recruited the fifth grade at Rice Elementary School to help us dramatize where pressure comes from. Each of these students is pretending to be a gas molecule in a container. Gas molecules move in a straight line until they bounce off another molecule or a side of the container. This rapid random motion results in a bunch of collisions with the side of the container, in this case the gym, which gives rise to a pressure force. If we raise the temperature, meaning the molecules move faster or add more molecules, there are more frequent collisions and so there is more pressure. When you pump air into a tire, you are adding molecules, creating the extra pressure that lets the tire hold up a car or a bike or a piece of heavy equipment. These large machines are held up by millions of random collisions of microscopic air molecules inside the tires. Now, back at Rice Elementary, we add another element, a large, slow-moving particle. As the air molecules collide with the larger particle, they make it move around in a random fashion. You can demonstrate this with a group of fifth graders, but you can also see it in real life. This image shows a very small oil droplet suspended in air. Look at it jiggle. The motion is due to the many collisions of the air molecules that surround it. The motion of air molecules is very real. We can see it move an oil drop, and we can feel the effects whenever we experience air pressure, which is exactly what we'll do in the next segment.